So how did you come up with the story for Epic? Well, the story came up, I mean, it's an, orga it's an organic process. It just happens over the years that we're making the movie. It's the great thing about animation is that you have an opportunity to keep working on the story while you're in production. So, you know, you basically, usually you come up with a notion. You know, for ours, it's, the, the, it's this epic action could be happening in a small place in the forest that we can go down there and make it look big and it would be like an alien world to us. But, you know, you just start working. I don't know what other people's process is, but, you know, for me, it's just uh, you surround yourself with some of your favorite people and you start just drawing ideas and we, and we write away and we, and we make, um, make it up. And over the course of the over the course of the thing that took to four years to make this, you know, you just find things. Even in editorial, even in animation, even behind a mic with a with the actors. You know, you can, if you just keep your ears open and and you need to keep your eye on what you're trying to do thematically and emotionally, you know, you can just keep finding fresh ideas and keep finding ways to get them in. The, uh, the design of the forest in the film is very detailed. Did you use uh, actual locations for inspiration for that? Oh, sure. I mean, we wanted the world to be convincing. We wanted it to be very immersive. We wanted you to feel like you were in there if we could. And um, you, look, the, the woods in this movie look a lot like the woods around our houses where we live north of Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And a lot like the woods the, the way they look where I grew up. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't a stretch uh, to come up with that, you know. We, we did, in, in, we did um, enforce some uh, stylization to it. Very cool. Um, you said four years it took you to make the film? That's a very long process. Well, it is, I guess. But By the end of it, do you feel like um, it's done? I I'm tired at the end of it, but I don't think it's done because we you know we threw out so many great ideas. It's almost like you could make another story with what we threw out of this one. Um, Would you do a sequel? I, I, you know, sometimes I feel like it. Sometimes I don't. And on, on this one, I, I just really love the world. I've been thinking about it for over four years, obviously, because we, you know we developed it for a while and and. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I like it enough to keep thinking about it. Um, do you have any aspirations to do any uh, live action films? I know like Brad Bird and Andrew Stanton recently started doing some uh -huh. live action films. I need the right project. I've developed a couple that came and went, but, or, and I've got a couple more in development that I, that I do if I, if, if I get some support mm -hmm. behind them for sure. It's fun to think about, absolutely. And I love working with the actors in the booth, I think that uh, I could probably do it in front of a camera. Yeah, how do you assemble these massive casts, these, this voice cast for all your movies? Ice Age, Robots, this, it's, it's incredible. How do you get all them together? I don't know, for every character we just go through and we pick the right voice and, you know, there's definitely, you know, interest from um, a marketing perspective to get the most, uh, the, 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 the best known personalities in the movie, Cause, I mean, I made this movie to entertain myself in one perspective, but I want other people to come watch it because, you know, it's a business, it's a job, it's a living. And so, uh, you know, you try, to, it's, it's, a, it's a balancing act between what's going to work best for the character um, and, um, you know, who's, who's out there and who do people want to see. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite animated film? My favorite animated film at the, at the moment, this one by like a thousand miles. <laughs> no bias or anything. None. <laughs> Very good. All right. Well, Chris, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks.